Budget One speaks as though I am not perched within striking distance and can hear every syllable he utters. I might find his hubris amusing in a different light, but the light that remains fades as darkness comes. A riddle to those hindered by limited perspectives. A profound truth to one such as I. Something ancient and powerful assaults my senses, but the my feeling is my own. It grew from a tickle behind my broken horn when the fool of a battle mage opened the halls of Colossus. Now it swirls like a black storm around me. A portal? Here? Let's see what you can make of it. How do you stand it? My head pounds like an orc drum. You get used to it. And that was your best one yet. Abner Tharn. You arrogant, vexatious son of a bleary-eyed... Save your posturing, Sai. I missed you too. But we have a bigger problem to deal with. Five Claw. My head spins from the effort that took. Cadwell made it look so easy. By the moons, though... My heart sings at the sight of you, my friend. I did. Cadwell acquired power over portals after attuning at the Shadow Dance Temple. Tarn suggested I might have the same ability, and he has been helping me. Lord Garishri has my kingdom well in hand. We continue to clean up the mess left by the Usurper Queen, and there are still stray dragons to deal with. But. So Tarn has told me. He has been exchanging letters with Sai Sahan for some time. Do not expect me to turn my back on the creature, but I will respect this alliance. Moons! I traveled to Southern Elsewhere not just to finish this business with the dragons. The Khajiit of Pelletine have been on their own for too long. The Five Claw. You just want to hear tales of your exploits. Very well. You and Abner Tarn arrived in Northern Elsewhere. I traveled to Five Claw. That Euraxia, the Usurper Queen, Tarn's half sister, orchestrated the release of the dragons. We ended her reign, only to learn that the dragons had plans of their own. We killed the dragon Mulamir and flung Kalgrontid into the void, but not before he absorbed the core's power. Then I took back my family's throne and accepted the crown of Anequina, the Elsewhere Confederacy, an alliance between Anequina and Pelatine. The marching down from Rimen, I suppose. Tarn was in a hurry, so he had me practice my portal making. Zamara. I see that my instructions were followed to the letter. The champion of Aquina, Sai Sahan, and the dragon Nafala together in the same place, and I have brought Chimera. We have much to discuss. It concerns Calgrontid. Calgrontid absorbed a good deal of the core's power before we stopped him. I hoped he was lost in the void after we dislodged him, but like us, he made his way back to Tamriel. Not just that. I pieced together his ultimate plan. Isn't it obvious? Calgrontid plans to become a god. There's an island off the coast, Dragonhold. In the Kunzari legends, it was the dragon's seat of power. I can't open a portal to it. I can't even scry it. It's protected by potent magic. You face the cult of the new moon? The cultists revere Calgrontid. They must have a method for getting to and from the island. Strange green stone. Does that sound like what you're looking for, Tharn? Indeed. Since I read about it in your reports, I've wanted to examine it. Chimera, can you...? No more portals, Tharn. No...
Don't you know that interruptions at nap time cause mange of the fur? You mean other than the cultists that were trying their damnedest to disembowel us? Wait a moment. You're going back there. Huh. Now that you mention it, I did hear a few of those nutters mentioning sending the green stone to an island, and they were certainly sacrificing something on that altar in the amphitheater. I am not a mage. I wouldn't know a portal from a hole in the ground, but that's where they were gathering the green uh, aeon stone, I think they called it. May the moons protect you on your mission. If you need a helping claw, come find me after my nap. I heard Aelia say something about meeting with the Queen of Enequina, which I take to be some sort of euphemism. As for the captain, he went to collect his special order, a case of plum brandy, the good. If you have the respect of Clan Murtog, you have mine too. to rest, old man. Don't pretend otherwise. If you insist. I expected the New Moon cultists to disperse after the death of Latvulan. I suppose Kalgrantid has other ideas. But according to Tharn, the cult operates both here and on the island. They... That entrance has most likely been sealed in response to what you and she accomplished here. A structure as ancient as this must have other entrances, though. Tharn will be fine. He just needs to catch his breath. Which means I get a few blissful moments without listening to his scathing observations. The fortress is built atop the cliffside, and the river runs along its base. There must be another way into the fortress along the river. I can feel it in my beard. Another way in. Let's follow the river. Cross here.
This looks promising. You found a way inside. And without my help, good. You never cease to surprise me, Sai. What now, old man? In the past, I considered you nothing more than Varen's muscle. But here you are, leading a new generation of dragons. Just contemplating how some people adapt. Wisdom from an empty well here in the belly of our enemy. Let's stick to the matter at hand. Through the portal, please. There is work to do on the island. Here, we must find him. Calgonti! You shall be the first to behold the rise of the Dark Aeon. The portal just closed. Tharn, can you open it? Perhaps, but not by myself. Champion, let's talk. I know Sai was hoping for a confrontation, but I doubt we could have survived an encounter with Calgrontid. He looked even more powerful than when we saw him at Jode's core. Now, this array of stones forms the portal's focal point. That's Aeonstone, mined from sites throughout southern elsewhere. I did a little... Aeonstone has no intrinsic power. It amplifies whatever energy it absorbs. That's the... As I said, I did some research. Approach each Aeonstone, and I'll siphon a little of your vitality into them. That should... You think so? My knowledge is infinitesimal and it irks me. The stone exists only in southern elsewhere. It... You take great pleasure in forcing me to admit to gaps in my knowledge, don't you? Point taken. Calgrontid absorbed a significant amount of energy from Jode's core. With all... stones hum with energy. That should allow me to open the portal to Dragonhold. This is harder than I thought. It's open. Our way to the island. Sigh. Go. Prepare the Dragon Guard. Go? You can barely stand, old man. Don't argue with me. I remember Damn. when spells such as this took barely any effort. While Sai rallies the Dragon Guard, our job will be to reach the island and find a way to lower its defenses. We're going to the ancient seat of Calgrontid's power to face a dragon that not only possesses the might of Jode's core, but the amplifying abilities of the Aeonstone. Your concern is touching, but I'd prefer you save it for someone of lesser stature. Now. It appears that the portal deposited us inside an ancient structure. 
I assume we're somewhere beneath the island of Dragonhold. The architecture reminds me of both the halls of Colossus and the barrows of Skyrim. Interesting. That's an approximate translation of the Ta'agra text, from the secret histories of the Moonseers. Cal Some sort of powerful magic isolates this island, an Aegis. Everything I learned about Calgrontid came from a few oblique references in the Khajiiti myths. An Aegis is a defensive spell. While the magic used in the Matrix surrounding Dragonhold is unknown to me, it bears some resemblance to spells I've cast in the past. That supposition was simply an educated guess. But yes, I believe that by channeling the energy from Jode's core through this strange Aeon Stone, Calgrontid can achieve an unprecedented level of power. We'll... Hmm. I don't like the way this island is shaking. Let's not linger in these caves. It feels like the ceiling might collapse at any moment. Give me a moment to study it. Obviously of Khajiiti origin, old, maybe as ancient as these ruins. Perhaps I can think of any number of reasons for a culture to declare a myth or legend forbidden, though most involve topics too disruptive or dangerous to discuss openly. Indeed, anything that hints at changing the status quo poses a danger to those in charge. See the number of moons, the Khajiit acknowledge multiple moons, but they rarely depict any besides Joan and Jode. The third, the figures at the bottom. Those must represent the new moon cultists. And see the Aeon Stone, emanating energy that gives rise to the third moon? I came across another one of the secret moon singer myths during my research. It predicts the coming of a powerful new moon, the Dark Aeon. I think... The tremors seem to be intensifying. 
What's happening? Dragon, but it's not Calgronti. Continue to feed the ritual sites. Calgronti demands a throne in the sky. We must accomplish this, or perish. A throne in the sky? Forget the source of the island's defenses. We need to destroy these ritual sites.
That drove it off. Now, to find the salt. So much for feeling like my old self again. It took every iota of energy I absorbed from the Aeon Stone, and all I accomplished was to wound the dragon and drive it off. The injured dragon. There's nothing more dangerous, but also totally predictable. It will head to a secure location to mend its wounds. What could be... Your observational skills never cease to amaze me. I'm not sure we stopped the ritual in time. There's a disturbance in the air. The humans and Khajiit could, but not Nafala. We need... This tapestry continues the legend of the Dark Aeon. Because the cultists don't believe what we see here happened in the past. I think the land at the bottom represents this island. Dragon. That's the Dark Aeon. The new moon. The new god that Calgronti plans to ascend to. We need to hurry and find the wounded dragon. We kill it.
Up there. That's Cal Grontied. That foul scent. I know these words. You cannot stop me. This island will ascend, and I shall become the Dark Aeon. Trust Parasaurus. You will not destroy me. Just a little longer. I'm nearly finished with the Aegis. Trespassers, you will not destroy the Aegis.
destroyed the Aegis. Now we need to get out of there. I am the Dark Aeon! I may have dealt with the island's defenses, but whatever Cal Grontid is doing is getting stronger. Dragon's bones were up in the sky. A dead end. There's no choice. I'll open a portal to the mainland. Hurry! It will take the last of my remaining strength to hold this open. Find Kamira and Saisahan. Prepare the Dragon Guard to attack. I'll be ready when you return. Over here. I told you I sensed Tarn's magic. Then where is he? the sacred sons of your Kuda? Up in the sky. How did the Dragon's Island get into the sky? And the prophecy of the dark Aeon and the new moon. Then we must return to the Dragon Guard Sanctum and rally our forces. I do not want to imagine Tarn alone on that island. We must gather our forces and get back to him quickly, Five Claw. I... Tarn's magic. It has a specific scent. That is more of a question for... 